The day is getting ready to wind down. The boys have gone home. It's just you and me. I'll tell you a fairy tale where everything is simple and beautiful. And later we'll sing a song, singing. Tanya, don't do that. All the children will sing pathetic songs. We should sing a song that will please them. This song was my mom's favorite. Why don't we sing it together? Singing only you, only me, just the goddaughter and the godson. Singing only you, only me, just the goddaughter and the godson. That's it. And the new mommy and daddy will take us away. They'll hear us sing and take us away. I really want to go to a new home that's my own, only we'll be taken to different homes. Sometimes they adopt two people at once, we'll say that two of us should be taken, right? Ouch, what are you doing? Come on, come on. No, Vodic. Arkasha. HM? Vatik and Anuta are making noise, keep them quiet. They'll wake up Zaneda Andreevna. She's been suffering from blood pressure since yesterday. You go yourself, I'm asleep. Quiet. Quiet. Tonka, listen to the song I dedicated to Anka. My wife is the most beautiful. Do you want Zaneda Andreevna to wake up? Quiet. You. Why quiet? You listen to the end, though you can't understand it, Arkosha doesn't dedicate songs to you. If you've had a drink, go to your room and have fun there. Stop it. You'd better work than go out at night. And you work nights yourself. Stop it. Quiet. I said, my mother-in-law should not see you in such a state. Please go to your room. In this condition, who shouldn't I see here? Mom, hello and good night. Go on. We're not here. We're already asleep. Go. Seneda Andreevna, I'm sorry to wake you up. You can go to bed now. In my own house, I have to ask your permission to go where I want to go. And how could I not wake up if you were yelling like that? Excuse me. You need to let go of your orphanage shouting habits. You need to retrain yourself. Sorry for waking you up. Never mind me. You should think about Arkasha. He's working hard to make money, and because of you, by the way, he dropped out of the institute. You've ruined his life, you might say. You gotta have a conscience, Tanya. You're awake now, too. I'm sorry. Vedic had too much to drink, had to clean up in there. Tanya, I'm sleepy. Can you not have all your fights at night? Have a safe trip. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. That's the third one today. Yeah. Didn't sleep well last night. I guess I helped my mother-in-law again, and she didn't even say thank you. No, I didn't. Or rather, I'm doing everything wrong. Tanya, why have you put up with this for so many years? This is my family. My home, there is no other. Yes.
I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. There's a train leaving right now. Where are you going? Excuse me, you've never been late before. The train's leaving. Everybody's train is leaving soon. Excuse me, for God's sake, step into the situation. The train is leaving. Please, Zabrzansk, right away. Passport. Please, here. Uh-huh. Young lady, please hurry up. The train's leaving. Yes, yes, Gleb Dmitrievic. What is it again? It's broken. Just a moment, just a second. There's a problem in the computer. Sorry. What's she saying? There's a computer problem. When you have to leave, it's always computer trouble. Here, here, I'll pay for it. It's ready to go now, right? Yes, please. That's it, all done. Thank you, goodbye. I'm so annoying over there. I'm ready to rent a separate apartment with Arkasha. He won't agree. And his family even more so. That's for sure. And there's not enough money. Now everyone is working to pay off that debt. They may be working, but you're working hard. No days off and no proper vacation. Yeah, we're a family. What a family. I'm sorry, but I can see it from the outside. They're riding on you, and you're letting them do it, Tanya. You should dump Arkasha. Why would I do that? I love him. He loves me. You don't sound so sure. He loves his mom more than he loves you, and himself more than anyone else. Didn't you learn your letters properly? Or are your eyes bad? Read carefully. Baritsky Verbishis is two different names. You're the reason I didn't make my train. I'm sorry. The button must be stuck. Something must have stuck into your head. I needed to get on this particular train. I can reimburse you for the cost of the ticket, or I can change your ticket to a different time, but in this direction. I don't need to be reimbursed. I needed this particular train. Gleb, you have to take a cab to catch up with the train at the next station. What cab? Why do you keep climbing? Because of your turtle speed, we're late everywhere. Aren't you ashamed to talk to your father like that? You shut up. You've already made a mess of things. I won't be quiet when they talk to old people like that. Where's the station master? Dmitri Sargevic. Hello. What's all this noise? What happened, neighbor? Nothing later. What? You just got fired for a mistake on a ticket? No for a scandal in the workplace. Wait, but it wasn't you who caused the scandal. It was that. The boss doesn't care. He didn't want to hear anything. Fired. Maybe it's for the best. You're about to get hit at home for being out of a job. I would have. And you did the right thing, I think. Who am I gonna get to be my partner now? Hey. Hey what? That's not fair. Smile. It's your fault. You no matter how you spin it. Because of your nasty temper. He was wrong. Why did you have to stick up for some old man? It's his and his son's family business. They could have handled it without you. And now what? Now she's unemployed. It's not enough that Vatic is sitting on everyone's neck. Now she is too. Sineta Andreevna, don't talk like that. I haven't been out of work for a day. I'm at home and I say what I want. Mom, don't start, Tanya. I want to remind you. To buy this apartment was sold my one room, allocated by the state. Remind you, happy. Mom, what? My temples are pounding and everything's dark. Must be the pressure. Arkasha, bring a tonometer. We'll measure the pressure and call an ambulance. No need to call an ambulance. 
The ambulance is already tired of coming here. Arkasha, call not as the Alexeyevna for me. Aha. Uh -huh. I can give you pills too. You're not a doctor, Tanya. Leave me alone. Leave me alone from your tutelage when you're not asked. Ouch, 140 to 90. Don't joke about that. I've had worse. I don't know what you're gonna tell me now. That I have no reason to mope, that my sons are around, that there is someone to give me a glass of water, that's all Tonka does, and Tanya does the house. You'd like your sons to run around you, wouldn't you? Let them work, we've got it all right. But only the cats are scratching at my soul. What, Sina? From what? Somehow my boys' lives are not going well. I can't say they're happy. Every mom wants her kids to be happy. But they would be better off. Vatik and his wife are in debt. There's nothing left to sell. He took out a loan to study, from who knows who. Arkasha has a useless job, the schedule's hard, but there's no money, and Tanya's out of work now. Oh, it'll all work out somehow, they're young, healthy. And your Tanya is a skillful girl, she'll get you out. With skill? Yes. She's not smart. She's got attitude and a temper. My God, but she's so clean, so decent. It makes my teeth chatter. I can't breathe because she cares. I wish you had grandchildren. That would be care. All my ailments would be gone. Oh, don't tell me. And where to get grandchildren? When hope for Anuta, that she'll give birth because I don't expect any more from Tony. You found time to dust, Tanya. It's like a delusion, cleaning all the time. Here you go. Drink. Mama, as usual, will she outlive us all? I insist that everyone close to you, all of you, not just Tanya, to pay attention to Zaneda. Uh -huh. Please consider her age, illness, mood, character, all factors considered. Take care of mom. We've been walking a tightrope. Now we'll breathe on schedule. Anya. Cover your mouth. Now we'll take turns being on duty around mom, me, Vatic, and you. Is this for me instead of work? Let Tanya take care of her. Tanya will be looking for a new job. She has a better chance than you. Don't turn on the older man. Go on. Let's go. Tanya, how many times did you give your mom a seizure? What? Don't go near her. Arkasha, you saw everything. Me neither. Vodik, where are you going? It's your turn to take care of your mom today. My turn? No, no, no way. I have to leave urgently. I got a call from the university. Yes. Yeah, it's all about how I'm gonna get reinstated and stuff. Someone in our family must have a higher education. What? Anya, what about you? Don't even look at me. I have an important client. If I refuse, she will immediately find a new master. Someone has to earn money in our family. Wait, Arkasha will have to take the second day off in a row.
Hello, it's about the ad, about the job. Yes. Mommy, what, what, mommy pressure? Now, now, wait, come on. Thank you. Tanya, Tanya. What's in here? I gave her a pill, I don't know. What kind? She choked on it, I don't know what kind, mom. Get up, coughing more. Here. <laughs> Calm down, Arkasha, call an ambulance, quickly. Yes, okay. Quiet, quiet, all right, calm down, breathe. It's okay, calmly, everything, inhale and exhale. There's no point in hospitalizing Zineda Andreevna, everything is all right, thank you, your competent actions. Where did you learn the Heimlich technique? Are you a doctor? I spent three years in medical school. When I got married, I had to drop out. Why is that? My husband insisted. He assured me I'd make a career on the railroad. And did you? From carriage cleaner and conductor to ticket cashier. I'm looking for a job. Thank you very much. Thank you. All the best to you. Tana K, thank you. If it weren't for you. No, Zaneda Andreevna. Tanya, I'd really like you to sit with me, let Arkasha work. Don't worry. Of course I'll sit with you. Tanya, I'm sorry, I can be rude. I. I can be too. The main thing is that you should be healthy. My mom was 40 years old when she decided to have me. She had a heart defect. The doctors honestly told her she would die. If not in labor, then quickly. She gave birth to me anyway. You didn't tell me before. Yeah. We lived with her for seven years. I knew the name of all the pills, where to call, what to do if she had an attack. I couldn't do anything to help that day. We sewed that heart together. She said when she left, her heart would still be with me. I understand you so much now. It's scary when your mom is right in front of you. When your mom gets better, I'll start looking for a job. The bee is back. 
How is Seneda Andreevna? Better now. Arkasha's gone on a trip, and I'm going to work. How's Vladik? I don't know. All these bad people are on him about debt repayment. I'm very afraid for him. I don't know. We will give in installments somehow. But now I'm going to go to all the private practitioners who wants a haircut, a hairstyle, just to get something. Here, you can give it back later. Thank you. Look. Arkasha brought the album. And I took it to show the girls the haircuts of the 90s. That's you, isn't it? Yes, it's me. Is that your mom? Yes, my mom. She's beautiful, you know. I wouldn't risk having a baby knowing I'd die quickly, and the child would be an orphan. I don't understand how. It's Arkasha who's like this. Why is he without millet? Okay, your relatives. How long did you live in the orphanage? Until I came of age. I was waiting to be taken away. There was no one willing to take me. What do you mean? But you were adopted here, or adopted? Tanya. Hi, Anuta. You didn't throw out the trash again. I forgot. I'll take it out. Here, is it yours? It was on top. No. It's mine. Negative ones, fortunately. Why fortunate? So, I'll die without having grandchildren. That's happiness. That's not what I meant. I meant that Vatic and I are not planning to have children yet. I don't understand why we should breed poverty. Don't be silly. God will give a child. We'll give in money. I... You might say, was on a hair's breadth from death. So now I really want to live to see my grandchildren born. Please don't drag it out. Wow. What a considerate mother-in-law we have. She will soon crawl into our bed. She's gonna control the process. Have a baby. Anura, children are happiness. Tanya. What kids? Vatic needs to pay off his debts and finish university. Let him be 30 years old. It's you and Arkasha who should give birth first. Finish it. I don't understand. Why are you giving up on yourself? They give birth at 40 and 45. Oh, I'm sorry, Tanya. You can't, right? Neither can your mom. I didn't mean it, Tanya. Bye. Anuta, my mother-in-law wants Anuta to give her grandchildren. And I'm a cleaner, a laundress, a nurse, but not a woman. Tell her the truth. What is it? That her son convinced me to have an abortion, and I at 20 years old did not have enough brains? It's his fault. It's mine, too. I wanted to be in their family so badly, the home I never had. So I did. Your mother-in-law should be thanking you. You saved her life. She's entitled to something, too. Oh, you want a baby so bad. Of course I do. I'm afraid I'll end up like my mom, but I want more. I've already had a checkup. Everything seems to be normal. Maybe it's Arkasha. Does he want kids? He's not enthusiastic. Oh, Tanya, this whole family, they're your kids. Let's talk about something fun. Enough already. Let's do it. I think I'm in love. With who? A transit passenger. The sea, charisma, and zero prospects. He's gone. Hello, hard worker. Didn't pass your test for the professor. Yeah, I'm not amused, by the way. If you've come to ask for money, I won't give it to you. What's the matter with you? I've been warned to pay back my debts sooner than later. When have I ever warned you for that? You think I don't know what universities you study at and where you lose all your money? I know I'm only keeping quiet because I feel sorry for my mother. Don't you think it's enough that my Tanya helps you with money? 
I haven't gotten a penny more. How are things in Zavrzeski? Does Tanya know who you go there on business trips? No? Can I tell you? Arkosha will be a man. Help your brother, go ahead. Arkasha, who tagged you? Good thing Zaneda Andreevna can't see it. Vodik, will you at least tell me who beat you up? Arkasha will tell you himself. Who attacked? Why? Maybe the police should be informed. No need. It's because of your debts, isn't it? Debts, debts. By the way, are not only money debts, you also owe your family, your wife, how? Shut your mouth. Ouch, hold this. Arkasha. I have to go, there's another job offer. Are you sure you don't want to tell the police? Sure. Antonina. Hello. Hello, is that you? Thank God I found you. You were looking for me. Why? I wanted to apologize for the incident at the train station. I came there today and found out you'd been fired. I got this address from the station manager. Why? I, you were basically fired because of me. I wanted to make it up to you. Here you go. Thank you. I don't need anything. Wait a minute. Tanya, it's my son and I thought you got fired. Please take it. I'm sorry. I have to go. Dinner's ready. Don't forget to take your medicine. I'm gonna be late for work. Excuse me. What was the issue you approached Tanya about? Do you know her? A friend of mine who owns the warehouse praised you a lot, said you were efficient, fast. Thank you very much. But I wouldn't want to quit that job. If you're able to combine, please do. There is one very important condition. You must never lend anything to customers. Understand? Absolutely not. Yes, I understand. In a Yurievna. It's just in a... Did you give them the money? All of it? What did they say? Alkosha, don't yell. I want to understand the balance of the debt they said. Okay. Where's our cash? Did you talk about the money? If you know what you're talking about, why are you asking? What money did he give? Some old guy showed up just in time, with his apologies. How's the old man? Wait, you took it from him. Tanya. You're getting hot again, this man, Dmitry Sargevich, came here, he brought the money, I took it, what's the problem? You really don't understand? I repeat, he offered the money himself, it was stupid not to take it, you lost your job because of him. He brought it to me, not you. And we're not family, Devadic. They're more important now. That's not the point. I wouldn't take them for anything in my life. They need to be returned, and it's urgent. Do what you want. Mama. Tanya, what have you done? The money has already been given. You can't get it back. You're strange too. You think more about some other man's grandfather than about your own family. I don't think about my loved ones. Don't even talk to me about money anymore. Really? Mom. Arkasha. 
What did you do? You didn't even ask me. You gave someone else's money. How could you? They're not even mine. Do you realize that? Don't yell. I'm sick of it. What do you mean you got it? I'm sick of everything. Baddock's an asshole. He took out loans supposedly to study, but he lost everything. What do you mean, lost? That's it. Baddock's a gambler. I'm sick of my mom. Anything wrong. She just dies. You, Tanya, I don't know if you're stupid, or naive, or blind. If all this time you still haven't understood about Vadik. Do you care about our family? We're just neighbors living in the same apartment. Arkasha, you're just tired and upset. Yes, yes, Tanya, I'm tired. I'm tired of you. Tanya, it hurts to look at you like someone died. Maybe I did. I'm sorry. Maybe Arkasha said it in the heat of the moment, and you got caught in the act. Lita taking advantage of an old man. It's a disgrace. I'll pay him back every penny. How much is it? Salary. Can I give you something? I'll pay it all back. Okay, it'll be a debt. I feel sorry for him. He was unlucky with his son. I have no idea where to find him. Can you ask the station master? If he came here, maybe there's some data left. Okay, I'll find out. How long are you going to put up with all this? My patience isn't unlimited either. Especially my husband made it clear that we do not have a family. And so now it's just a semblance. It is. What do you suggest? To stay alone? Yes. I still have nightmares about being alone. I've been alone all my life. Lita, all my life alone, do you understand? Let's go. Freeze. Auntie, let go, we're hungry. We're from the orphanage. No daddy, no mommy. They don't feed us well. Come on, come on. Now you'll tell me what orphanage you're from. Let's go, eat up. Come on, tell me. What kind of orphanage has food so bad you have to steal? Give me the address number. I know these tricks. I want to have an adventure. Excuse us, please. I'm not your judge. You have to think for yourselves. No mom and dad. That's no reason to whine and to justify stealing. I grew up in an orphanage myself. I know what hopelessness is. I know these tricks. I want to have an adventure. Are you doing well now? Do you have a home, a family? Everything's fine. I have a home and a family. Promise me you won't do that again. I got my first paycheck at the store. Together with the amount you're giving me, I'll have enough to give to Dmitry Sarjevich. Yes, it's not easy to find Dmitry Sargevich. The warden says I don't know anything about him, and there's no point in you going. 
I remember my son's last name is Verbitsky, Gleb Verbitsky. So we're looking for Dmitry Sarjevich Verbitsky, about 70 years old or so. I also remember a son registered in Zavrashesk. Yes, but grandfather didn't go anywhere then, and some woman called him a neighbor, so... So we'll have to look for him here. They could have different last names. Tanya, we'll find Dmitry Sargevich, don't worry. Girl, can you hurry up? I'll go. Go ahead. I'll have a ticket. No for Bitskis. So we'll look for Dmitry Sarjevich's. So yes. Tanya. Hi, are you in a hurry? You got half an hour. Come on, I'll make a man out of you. Anyura. Come on. Wait. This is a thank you for everything you do for me and Vatic. Arkasha will definitely like it. You look like you're going to perform in a pub. You should be more modest. Hello, girl. Hello. Excuse me, what's your name? Tanya. Antonina, would you be so kind as to give me this box? Here you go. Thank you. Tanya, take the bags to the back. Can I help you? Huh? Can I help you? No, thank you. I'll help you. Goodbye, Antonina. Goodbye. Goodbye to what? Who is it? Just a customer. What are you doing here? Maybe I missed you. I've got two hours left on my shift. You're wearing makeup. You don't waste time. Men are like flies on honey here. Arkasha, I don't understand. What's this stupid jealousy? What? I came to see you home, in case they steal such a beauty. I'm telling you, it's still two hours till the end of the shift. We'll solve the problem. I apologize profusely. I have a favor to ask of you. Let's go. It was good. Natasha. Dmitry Sargevich. There are eight pensioners in the city. But you gotta admit, it's more fun with two. That's for sure. What do we have? Three false Dmitry Sergeyevichs. The first one mistook us for a fraud, almost threw us down the stairs. The second Dmitry Sergeyevich, unfortunately not ours, we helped to walk the dog. And the third one gave us tea and crumpets. As old as he is, excuse me, but I gotta go. I gotta go to work too, thank you. You're welcome, bye. Hello, Antonina. Tanya, hey, you look great. Give me a vodka. No. Is that what you're here for? Not just that. Can I borrow some just a little? 
You lost again. I guess so. Help me. This money could get me killed. One last time, just a little bit. Why did you come here? You got your wife. Do I look like a bank? Anya will be happy if I'm gone. Please help me be a human being. No. I'm fed up. Get out of here. Will you give me some vodka? No. Holy right. That's right. Too bad Alkosha doesn't need you. Ask him if you can find out who Natasha is. Tanya, get the drunkards out of here. What are you doing here? Get out of here, asshole. Tanya, why did he come here? To get a drink. What happened to your face? Did Vedic say something? Did he ask for money? I hope you were smart enough not to lend him any, Tanya. Why are you so quiet as a chicken? Be nice to the girl. Who are you? Arkasha, back off. Do I see you here already? Have you found a protector for yourself? Stop it. What's all this jealousy? Ask me. Of course I will. Arkasha, get up. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop it. Both of you go away. Kostinko. What is this? I put up with you feeding the riffraff in the back room. What? I have video cameras everywhere. I know everything. I put up with you showing up to work all dressed up like a publicity whore. But a fight is too much. You're fired. Get out of here. Get your men out of here. Take it easy. What? I'm an inspector controlling the sale of alcohol to minors. Oh, for God's sake, this is awkward. Let's go to my office. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Lita, we have fun, Arkasha. Afraid that he will be brought for beating the inspector. Mother-in-law is at home with pressure. Vatic is hiding. And I'm looking for Dmitri Sargavik. Last address left. No, it's okay. Oh, thank you. Lita, I'll call you back later. Hello. Dmitri Sargavik. Finally, finally, finally I found you. Thank God. Come on in, Tanya. Come on in. Dmitri Sargavik, don't mind. I'll give you the money anyway. What do you mean? You're at it again. If you won't take it, I'll leave it to your family. There's no one. I live alone. My son lives in another city. I'm a widow. Ten years already. Better tell me, how do you like my house? You like it? Yeah, it's cozy. How do you manage all this alone? That's the thing. It's hard. Every year it gets harder and harder for me to do the cleaning. Don't you have anyone who could come and help me with the housekeeping? I'll pay, of course. I won't take offense. I have a good pension. I'm retired military. What kind of work? Pretty big. Here I have a plot of land, a house of two floors. I didn't tell you. Cleaning is my favorite thing to do. <laughs> That's right. So we have a deal. I won't hurt you.
Tonake, go on. You have such a wonderful voice, Claire. I was just about to call you. Dinner's ready. You wanted to call me, but I came myself. And to your wonderful voice and such a smell. And a feast for the eyes. It's beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm not a very good cook, but I serve it beautifully. Who told you you're not a good cook? I can see that it's very tasty. Please sit down. I'm not comfortable alone, please. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. It's about time you showed up right on the eve of my birthday. Although, to be honest, I hate it. I'm not getting any younger. There's no one left to invite. No one at all? My son's not coming. Why not? He and I have a complicated relationship. I don't understand why I have to go to some grandfather I don't know. He's a very nice, lonely man, Arkasha. It won't take you long, and we'll make him happy on his birthday. Imagine yourself in his place. Oh, I'd like to live somewhere alone, away from this communal apartment. Think of it as keeping up a semblance of family. At least we'll go out together. Okay. If this party will help you get a job, I'm willing to do it. Really by yourself. Oh yeah, yeah, with these very hands, come on in. You planted a tree and gave birth to a son. I can only dream of such a thing. You've got a lot ahead of you. If you knew how much I dreamed of this house, I spent half my life in garrisons and drew, drew, drew in my head and on paper to build a house dear to my heart. You know, my husband helped me make this cake. Yes, this one. Aha, uh -huh. are we gonna blow out the candles? What did you say? Put it away. Okay. Not enough candles. Oh, I'm sorry, someone must be saying hello. Oh, my son. Yes, Gleb. Thank you, thank you, son, for not forgetting. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Have you been drinking? Tanya? Isn't it a little early? Yes, I'm listening. We should have a house like this, we'd live like people, not like herrings in a barrel. Do you think that's all we need to be happy? Dmitri Sargavik. What is it? A heart? Nothing, nothing, everything. Shall I call a doctor? No need, no need for a doctor, it's in that box over there. Here? Yes, it's drops, 20 drops in half a glass of water. Calling a doctor on your birthday is not a very good present. You know, quick to grab, quick to let go. I had a very unpleasant conversation with my son. It's my own fault. You drink. It'll pass. That's the right thing to do. Everything will get better. Today is a holiday. Yes, it is a holiday. When I was a kid, I had a friend in the orphanage, Stepa Rastrapka. What? What did you say? Stepa Rastrapka, that was his name. We used to sing with him. Singing. Tanya. What? Let me call a doctor. No, no, no thanks. You excuse me for God's sake, Tanya. I'd like to be alone. 
I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh, Dimitri Sargevic. Hello. Hello, Tonya. I'm here to see you, as agreed. I have to leave urgently. Is something wrong? No, nothing, thank God. I called you, you didn't answer. Close the gate, thank you. Yeah, sorry. I left my phone at home. Sorry I'm late. It's okay, Tonike. I'm sorry I didn't warn you in advance, so you're free for today. And next time when? Tomorrow? The day after tomorrow? I'll let you know, let's go. I don't know what happened. Maybe there's something wrong with my behavior. Or because our Kasha and I came together? I don't know. Not even a hint. I don't understand hints. Zaneda Andreyevna is good. She says everything straight. Did you tell him that you were brought up in an orphanage? Of course. What for nothing, huh? Many people have prejudices against orphans. No, Dmitri Sargevich seemed normal to me. No prejudice. He just took off after that. After this song, how? Well, I'm gonna go, Lita. I've got a lot of stuff to do. Naturally, when Ward ran away, so we got a house full of people to take care of. How? How's it going with your husband? Uh, it's okay. Maybe because we don't see each other much. Our Kasha misses me. Come on, run. Yes. Bye, bye. Hello, and Soya, is something wrong? The janitor quit. And I was blamed by the housing department, of course. Who else could be to blame? I'm the chairman of the housing committee, who would work for such a pittance? I'm already thinking of sweeping it up with a broom. Let me come out. I can do it. Just don't start with me. I saw you with that guy. What are you doing out? Let me go. Are you crazy? Yes, I am. All you women are the same. You only want cars, houses and fat wallets. And when your husband has problems, so all we'll look for another. You're always in trouble. I'm leaving. Don't even think about it. Oh, Tanya, hi. Anya, open up. I'm alone. Don't try to talk me out of it. Okay, I don't intend to stay here. I'm sick of this family. Maybe you're ready to put up with it, but I won't. Okay, at least I got my parents' house. I envy you. It may be far away. It may be a doghouse, but I'm not gonna cling to these walls. It's about time you dumped Fatik. He's in trouble. You see how Zaneda feels. Tanya, I'm going to be 30 soon. Maybe I want a normal house too. A normal, big, cozy house. What's here for me? What's here? I understand you. Take pity on Vatic. But I don't understand you. You're either an idiot or a saint. How long are you willing to put up with this? As long as I have to. I will, for the sake of my loved ones. You go calm down now. And come home tonight. Go home. You hear me?
Gleb, open up. It's me. I'm standing under the door. I've already arrived. Open up, please. Drinking, you're feeling sorry for yourself, aren't you? I see Katerina's good for you. Almost all the furniture is gone. But the furniture go with it a matter of time. But the fact that she took her daughter away, that's already. How did you make a deal with her? I'm asking you how did it work out? How will you see your daughter? Why aren't you saying anything? Answer your father. What kind of father are you to me? Go away from here. Glad. I came to tell you that I'm very guilty before you. I was cowardly then. Most importantly, everything can be fixed. What? What are you going to fix? There's nothing to fix. Go away from here. The day is getting ready to wind down. The boys have gone home. You and I will be alone. Arkasha, what are you doing? Me? What kind of circus is this, tell me? A job, like a job. As a janitor. Why do you need a broom? Yeah, keep it for yourself to fly. Arkasha, wait, I just didn't have time to tell you, stop. I don't understand, did you do all this on purpose, to make the whole house laugh? Huh? My wife is a janitor, such a poor, miserable Cinderella, and you're an evil mother. You think I didn't try to talk her out of it, you've got her stubborn. Then you didn't try hard enough, mother. You know what, deal with your wife yourself. There are enough problems in the house as it is. Anuta is about to leave Vatic. I don't care. What's my Tanya got to do with it? Why does she have to help Vatic and work for no one? Mom, isn't she working at that old man's house? She couldn't hold out there either. He doesn't invite her to his house now. So she's settled down here with us. We're all set. Here you go. Why are you so happy? Because you made the whole house laugh. Dmitri Sargevic called and offered me a job. I'm sorry, Tanya, I haven't called you in a long time. No, I'm so glad you're not angry with me. Angry? Why? That will continue to put my house in order? Oh, yes, I'd like to start right away with the books, take them apart. There's so much dust. Tanya, I wanted to tell you, or rather... What is it? I have to. What is it? I wanted to ask you. 
Can you make rattlesnake? Sure. That's great. Rasselnik. So Rasselnik. Here you go. Gently. Come on. But pour one for yourself, too. It's not as good alone. It's a condition. All right. If you tell me where you went, that's a condition. To Zavrazinsk to see my son. How is he? Gleb's going through a rough patch and he's going through it hard. One more thing. Tonya, I want to increase your salary. You're practically doing all the housekeeping. I think it's called a live-in job. I'll set up a special room and you can stay there overnight. Is it okay if I just use the first name? Thank you. I work nights at the warehouse. And actually, I have a family. I have to give them time too. Well, it's up to us to offer. It's up to you to decline. Would you tolerate it if you knew your wife was having fun with another man? My Tanya, don't talk nonsense. Your Tanya is at your grandfather's house now. She's staying the night there. She called her mother to warn her. That's how it is. Wait, wait, what do you mean sleep over at grandpa's? They're all the same brother where they see the fattest piece. They strive for it, even if the man old. Go to hell, do something, get a job, get out of here. The warehouse owner owes me a few days off. So I can stay here today. That's good. I've prepared the keys for you. Here you go. Dmitry Sargevic, I have a question for you. Don't be angry. Is your son in some kind of trouble? Where was he in such a hurry at the train station? Who was he going to see? To see his wife and daughter. They were going abroad. They were divorced. Alas. What's that got to do with you? Why does he treat you like that? Because I wasn't really a very good father to him. How many books do you have? Yeah. I've been collecting all my life. My wife, of course, scolded that from the garrison. To the garrison, we carry all this stuff with us. I think we had such a book in the orphanage. Yes. Yes, with pictures like that. Can I see it? Of course, of course. 
This is my Erica. Ten years since she's been gone. I feel like she's just gone somewhere and she'll be back soon. Yeah, I feel the same way about my mom. Your wife's face looks familiar to me for some reason. Maybe she looks like a famous actress. Yeah. She was a pretty good-looking girl. Look, of course, everything happened in life. But 30 years flew by like a day. I never knew my father. I don't even know what he looks like. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Quiet, stop. Where's that old goat drooling and drooling over my wife? Shut up. What are you talking about? Go home now. Arkasha. Come on. I said go home now. Quiet. I beg you. What's the matter? Let the girl go. She's my wife, and this is our family business. Arkasha, get out of here, please. You can follow your husband, Tanya. I can take care of this myself. Go, go. Lita, I felt nothing but human warmth from him. Something I haven't felt at home in a long, long time. So what? Now he won't want to see me at all. Do you want tea? I could use something stronger. I can't see our Kasha. Can I sleep at your place tonight? You didn't have to ask. Indeed, the morning is wiser than the evening. Everything will be fine. I love you. Thank you. Oh, here comes our missing person, Tana K. Hello, Tanya. Tanya, do you know what Dmitri Sargevic suggests? That you and Arkasha should stay with him in his house. Why not? I have plenty of room, and I'm used to Tanya as a daughter. I just wanted to clarify, will this go towards paying for the housework? No, I've been paying for the work, and I'll continue to do it. Uh -huh. And Arkady will have a job if he needs one. Tanya, don't think anything so bad. It's my fault Arkady snapped yesterday. When I was younger, I wouldn't have snapped like that. If my wife had spent the night somewhere, I understand you have a family, a home, a husband. Go for it. Tanya. Dinner was wonderful tonight. Well done, Tanya. Where is this house? On the outskirts of town, near the forest. It's a cool neighborhood. There's a lake nearby. I'll go fishing. You're dreaming as if someone asked you to go there. I haven't decided whether I need it or not. Yeah, you don't need a normal life with a wife in a spacious house. In someone else's house, with a strange old man behind the wall. 
If you have doubts, it's better to refuse. Only fools refuse such an offer. All right, mom, we'll go away, and who's going to watch you? Arkasha, everything will be fine. I'll come to visit you. You should live there, live like human beings, like people, Arkasha. If my mother says so, I have to agree. Come in, look, I've prepared this room for you. How do you like it? It's like a king's chamber. What's not to like? Dmitri Sargevich, where can the children put their bags? Bags, there's a storm under the stairs. True, some hampers will have to be thrown out there. Dmitri Sargevich, you've knocked me dead. How nice it is at your place. Will you let me come to visit you? With my second son and daughter-in-law, we can be neighbors, we can be friends. It's more fun for you. Of course, we're not empty-handed. Yes, of course, of course. I'm always very happy to have guests. Come on, Arkady, I'll show you the workshop. Tanya, Tanya, do you realize that you must be very, very super nice to Dmitri Sargevic? You must fulfill his every whim. He's not capricious. You realize that he and this house are a chance, a chance for us to live differently. Sineta Andreevna, don't. Why are you talking about this? Yes. I always knew you didn't understand me. Happy housewarming. How's that? Home. Tanya, are you really happy? Yeah, the only thing missing is the children's laughter. All in good time, mom was right about moving, wasn't she? It's kind of a different place to breathe, it's freer, I feel like living, make big plans. Let's make plans, Arkasha, together. Tell me, How's Dmitri Sarjevic's health, Tanya? How long will he last? Why are you talking about? Get up. If God forbid something happens to him, his relatives will kick us out of here and we'll have to go back to our kennel. He has a son in Zavrzonsk. They're really in a fight. It would be good to try them on. And when are you going on the voyage? The other day, why? Arkasha, I'll give you the address. Can you go to him, explain to him in a manly way that you can't do that to your father? At the same time, you'll find out what's going on there. Okay, I will. I'm on my way there anyway. Thank you. Lida, I don't just breathe freely there. I'm flying. I want to get into that miracle house already. Yeah, it's the first time I've felt what it's like to have a real home. Arkasha is completely different. There's no mom to control him faithfully. How's he treating you? He's gentle and he and Dmitri Sarjevic get along. I finally get to see you smiling and happy instead of wiping away your tears. Yeah, oh, thank you. Let's go in. Why, Tanya? Just a little delay? 
I've been saying for a long time it's time to move out of this apartment, this mother-in-law. Don't get excited yet. Still need to do the test. Let's go. I see daddy's hired a maid, of course. It is necessary to command someone in retirement around forward march. What do you want? I want to understand, will you reconcile with your father? Why are you meddling? What do you care? I don't have any father. I don't get it now. How do you mean you don't have a father? It's very simple, Bali. No, it is necessary to understand. I live in his house. Are you his son by documents? Are you the heir? Look, I don't give a shit about any of you on the house, on my father, on you. Get off. Thank you, great. Surprise! I think you like this kind of thing. Thank you very much. Arcadia asked me to give this to his wife. Arcadia did, didn't he? And you got the color so well. It's simple, husband. Thank you. So you stop calling. You hardly ever come over. You moved into a huge house with your wife and you're kind of getting things going. I guess so, I don't know. Honey, it doesn't work like that. Where am I going to go? You realize I'm not going anywhere. And you know why. Why are you so angry? Darling, the question with my wife is to solve the divorce issue. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Yes, I understand. I understand, why are you making such a fuss? Because I missed you so much. Me too. Can I try? Sure. Okay. Come on, that's it. I think we should add a little salt. Good. You know how it is in life. There's no such thing as everything being cloudless. There's bound to be a pinch of salt. You have that pinch of salt too, don't you? I do. Here? I really want a baby. But my husband doesn't. Not to justify AKD, of course, but in some ways I understand him, because a child is a very big responsibility. My Gleb is not my own son. He is adopted. Your wife's son? The thing is, unfortunately, Irina and I couldn't have children. Gleb we adopted from an orphanage, if I had known then how difficult it is to raise children. Was he a difficult child? No, he was very good, very much so, he and I have, how should I put it? Not compatible or something, different views on life, Gleb is a man of moods. You have to be nice to him. I was too hard on him, I'm a military man, accustomed to command, giving orders. Although I tried very, very hard to be a good father to him. And your wife, didn't she love him? She tried very hard to love him, too. If you took a child from an orphanage, you had to be ready for it. We thought we were ready. Two, it turned out to be Gleb grew up. Time was lost. 
and we still haven't become relatives. We're going to a decent house. Excuse me, we're not very decent for this house. And I'm not decent if Tanya had gotten a piece of the house, but it's all got to be certified. If you don't shut up, I'll turn around and leave. Arkash is on a trip. He'll be back either tonight or tomorrow morning, so you go on in. Where's the master of the house? He must be resting. He'll come to the table. That's quite a house, not like our slum. Excuse me, your mom and dad worked hard all their lives. Tanya, is there a guest bathroom? Come on in. I want to put on some makeup. Makeup, just go sell vous plate, mademoiselle. It's amazing. I'll go get Dumitri Sargavik. He must have fallen asleep. Find Vadik. Where's he stuck? Vadik, what are you doing here? Nothing. I was passing by. I heard my grandfather calling. There he is. He's sleeping. Dumitri Sargavik, wake up. Arkasha, will you answer your mom? Yes, mom. How did he die? Tanya? How is it all? What did he die of? The doctors thought he had a heart attack, ruptured heart. They said it was quick, he didn't suffer. So now we have to decide about the funeral. We have two. It's awful. One day, and there's no man. Yes. I wonder who's gonna bury him. I think he has a son, probably him. Not Tonka for her own money, though she's like that. She might agree to it. I asked Tanya. She said that Dmitry Sarjevich put aside money for his funeral, and she knows where it is. Where? What's it to you? Go into the house and steal it. You've climbed all over the place. I just happened to look in the study. Nothing to make up. Actually, it's a pity Tonka didn't get involved if Grandpa and his son are having problems. Why, it happens that they leave houses to caregivers. Ah, uh, disgusting. I hate a lot of things too, but I keep quiet. That's it. Enough. Enough. I called Gleb. No answer. I sent various text messages. In general, he... Maybe he changed his number. So I'll write a letter. What else? And he won't answer your letter. I went to see him. He's a drunken, broken, resentful man. He won't come, that's for sure. So we'll send a telegram. A son has the right to say goodbye to his father. All right, I'll give you a telegram, but you should stop crying so much about someone else. It's disgusting to look at you, Tanya. Disgusting. He's not a stranger to me. Then I'm sorry.
I felt so bad when my mom died. I was understandably a child then. Now I'm all grown up and strong. I feel like I lost someone close to me, you know. I feel like I've known him for a long, long time. Let's go. Tanya, I'm getting tired of this world's grief. We have no right to live here anymore. This house belongs to Gleb. Help me pack my things. Who's gonna check? Don't you get it? You can't do that. I'll come to water the flowers. Just moved in, already moving out. Okay, we don't have a lot of stuff to pack. Tanya, are you pregnant? No, I haven't had time to take a test. Congratulations, if anything. I'm sorry we moved so suddenly. No, it's okay, I came to say goodbye. I'm leaving. How, where? From Vatic. There is someone who's willing to take care of me. Indeed, not like Vatic. So don't persuade me, it's all settled, bye. Wait, Anyura. I fulfill the posthumous will of Dmitri Serzhevich Krishevik. Shortly before his death, he signed a deed of gift for half of his house. Now this half will be owned by you, Antonina Nikolaevna. Oh, Tanya. It's really a gift. According to the will, the other half will be owned by the deceased son Gleb Dmitrievich Verbitsky. Dmitri Sarjevic asked that after his death I personally notify you of this. So it's him Kriskiewicz and the son Verbitsky? Yes, this is the adopted son. Aha. Uh -huh. Mr. Verbitsky has also been notified that he can inherit within six months. Yes, Mom. What do you mean he gave half of the house as a gift, or what merits, Mom? Let me come back after the flight and then we'll talk, okay, I can't talk now, okay, bye. Did your mom call? Did she tell you about Tanya and the house? Yes, no time to discuss it. Yeah, just a minute. She might show up now. Listen, sweet Tanya. I've been thinking about how to explain my decision about you a long time ago and the recent one too. I decided to put it down on paper. It's not easy and it's amazing to realize how the past, seemingly long forgotten, changes your whole life. Give me that. Where did you get this? I found it in the house. Grandfather wrote in the study. Do you even understand? They knew each other a long time ago. Maybe she was having an affair with him when she was a kid. That's why he called her to the house and brought her the idea. Affairs, 
What are you talking about? Akasha, nobody gives gifts like that for nothing. We'll have to divide them all like brothers. We'll send a letter to Tanya saying we know everything about grandfather. I'll give you a brotherly face broke. Let's get out of here. Golden man, it's a must. Let's remember him. Did you really not know this Dmitri Sargevic before? I told you I didn't know. It's strange, we barely knew each other. And now you're getting a gift. If I were my son, I'd challenge it. I don't understand it myself. Why he equalized us with Gleb. So that's the kind of son he was. He decided to have his inheritance, listen. Tanya, why don't we all move into the house together in case the son comes to claim his rights? We'll protect you. Can we move in right now? Or do we have to wait six months? We should go right now without thinking. Enka will show up as soon as she finds out about the house. I'll think about forgiving her or not. And we can rent this apartment. God, how can't you be ashamed of yourselves? Dmitry Sarzhevik has just been buried. You're already making plans. Don't shame us, Tanya. Especially in an empty house, thieves can still get in. Uh -huh. And we're kind of guarding it. No, Tanya, you did everything right. Nobody's gonna move in there. No one. Cheers. Oh, Mama. Tanya, I didn't understand anything on the phone. What happened with the child something? There's no baby and there never was. What's that? Cycle disruption. They said it was stress. Maybe it's for the best. I don't have time for this right now. Do people close to you know you're in the hospital? I don't have anyone close to me. Just you. Okay. Let's go. I don't know what to do next. I don't want to go back to that apartment, to these relatives. And just the other day, you were proving to me that they were your family. So I was lying to myself. If you realize that, stop whining. Live your life without looking at those vultures. I tried to call Arkasha and tell him you're in the hospital, but he didn't pick up. Who's doing that? Lida, hi, you got Tanya? Let's go home. I'm sorry. 
For what? For 15 years, there's a lot of things for everything. Let's go. You two talk, I'm off. If you don't want an apartment, there's a house now, let's go. My good girl. Let's go. I was at the cemetery. Everything's fine at Mitri Sarjevic's grave. I also went to the notary. We can live in our house now, it's a gift. Or do you doubt it? No, I like it here. With Gleb just need to settle all these issues. And how will you settle it with him if he hasn't shown up here yet? Find him. Find out if he's going to sell his half or live here. No, how do you split this house between two people? If he's not gonna sell, is that a line to draw, like a boundary? This could be a big nursery, bright, cozy. And a bedroom next door, conveniently. Yeah. That's what it means to own a mansion, it's hard to choose. How are you doing? How's mom doing? Yeah, thank you. I explained to Vadik that he won't get anything in our house. And mom says hi to you. Thank you. Hey, Tanya. Why don't we invite mom to our house? Who is it? Daddy, why don't you come visit me anymore? Do you want it with or without sugar? With sugar. Auntie, who are you? Here. Thank you. Just Auntie. Tanya, let's go outside and talk. It's not nice to leave guests behind. Tanya, don't. Show the boy the yard. Arkasha, put a scarf on topic. His throat is weak. Let's go. I've imagined our meeting so many times. I didn't think you'd be so calm. How long have you been imagining our meeting? A long time. At first I wanted to come here myself, to tell you everything to your face. And then I thought let him sort it out, decide, divorce. And he came to us less often. And when he did, all we talked about was this house. I had no choice, you know. How old is your boy? Seven years old. Ours and Arkasha's. I realize that. 
How did you get this address? It's no secret. Vatic told me. We have no life in Zavrezhinsky. My sister Lyuka married a drunk. I'm not worried about myself, but about my son. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. The boy needs a father, and you need a legal husband. That's right. Tanya? Close the door on your way out, pack your things and leave. With your son and the woman you love, Shall we sit down and talk? Tanya? I haven't had a relationship with Natasha for a long time. You used to go there every week. Yeah, I wanted to work things out. I didn't want to have this baby. It turned out to be a mistake or something. Arkasha, people have cats, dogs, fish. And the mistake was that I got rid of our child. And then I waited. I believed you. I hoped we'd have a baby. You should have given birth. Natasha gave birth and didn't ask anyone. Arkasha, you have a son. It's a blessing. Raise him. Bring him into your home. It'll be manly. Forgive me. You're not doing this for me. It's because of this house, isn't it? Yes. Why didn't you tell me anything? My mother forbade it. So she knew? She knew. And she was afraid you'd sue her for half the apartment in the divorce. Okay. That's enough. Do you hate me now? You... Our son, Arkasha, could be 15 years old now. Go away. Oh, Arkashenka, oh, my son now. I'll feed you now. You know, we've decided to renovate the house. What do you think? What if we move all the furniture to your and Tanya's house, just for a while? You don't think she'll let us? What's she still mad about? She's so easygoing. Why aren't you saying anything? Mom. Tanya found out about Natasha and Temka. She kicked me out. Kicked you out? 
Yes, and they have nowhere to live. I can't afford a rented apartment. I guess I'll have to live here. Where are they? Natasha. Hello. Zineda Andreevna. It's been a long time since we met. Tema, give your grandmother a hug. Tanya, Tanya, open up. I know you here, Tanya. What's wrong? Why aren't you answering your phone? Why aren't you answering the door? I don't know what to think anymore. I thought it was Arkasha. No way. And you let him go to her. You gave her your family and your apartment? No regrets. I want to forget all this as soon as possible. I'm filing for divorce. Tanya, why don't you cry? I don't want to. Why did I come to see you? You've been reinstated in the cashier's office. The old boss was fired, and the new one figured it all out. It turns out Dmitry Sarjevic wrote a letter that you were not fired, so you can start work tomorrow. He asked for me? No, Lita, I can't. Hey, you gonna sit around feeling sorry for yourself? No, I'm gonna go look for Glab. Why? Unless it's to spit in his face. He didn't even show up for his father's funeral. I can't. I want to get away from this town, from these houses, apartments, people. And me? Too many memories here. I don't deserve this gift. Tama K, sit down to eat. It'll get cold. I won't heat it up. Topic, eat and then play. Dad, I want to play with you. We'll play, but only after you sing. Can you somehow shut up this childish bastard? I'll shut you up now. Go to your room. What? This is my apartment too. Have you forgotten? Are you fucked up? Fucking assholes. The kid can see everything. Hands off. Topic, sit down to eat. This hell will ever stop. This is a child. Are you even going to get to know him, coddle him? You, of course, I'm sorry. I'm not a babysitter, and the child should be enrolled in a music school. To register him there, you need to collect a lot of certificates and applications, and registration is required, at least in this apartment. But you, Arkasha says, you don't give your consent, and this is your only grandson. By the way, Tamak K, Grandma has a headache. Let's go play the drum in the next room, right? Come on, well done. Well done, my good man. Come on, yeah. We'll have to plant some flowers. Here, roses are good. They're peonies, asters, tulips. Here, we can put violets. Mitri Sarjevic loved flowers. You'll come in the spring and plant everything yourself. And I'll keep an eye on the house so your former family doesn't get their hands on it. Hey, why are you crying? Oh, finally. I miss him so much. Cry. It'll make you feel better.
Glab. Glab. Hello, ambulance. There's something I can do to help him. If his condition stabilizes, we can go to the nursing home and hire a nanny there. I can sit. You'll need to find his passport and policy first. Notify the relatives. The doctors wrote down everything but from your words. And that's not the way it's done. Can you do that? Yes. And the nurse? Ilya Ilik. I can look after her for now. That's fine. Don't worry. Svetlana is the best nurse we have. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Don't drive. I beg you, don't drive. Katusha, Katusha, don't go. Quiet. Are you here, here? Here, quiet, quiet. Go home, I'll sit here. He's not going to die. Is he? Go rest. Mine. Dmitri Sargavix. Yes, Lida, I found it. No, Gleb is in the hospital with pneumonia. I am in his apartment looking for documents. Lida, I found a telegram that we sent. And all the letters are unopened. He probably doesn't know anything about his father's death. Wait. I'll call you back later. Hello. Yeah, have a good day. How is he? He's sleeping. Same condition. Have you eaten anything? I made some broth for him. Bring it to him. And I'll get you something from lunch. Katya. No, I'm Tanya. I forgot to introduce myself last time. He keeps calling me Katya. I thought it was you. No, that's his wife. Thank you. I don't get it. What's this one doing here? Don't yell right away. Why did you let her in? Why didn't you send her away? God sent me daughters-in-law. One is better than the other. There was one good one, Tana K, and she ran away. What? Love didn't work out with the new man. He's getting a little handsy. That's normal. I would have killed you like that. I have nowhere else to go. You must have heard about Tonya getting the house. Only we're not going to get anything there. No. I came back to you. You see, your constant debts. Fights. I broke down. Yes, I made a mistake. You won't forgive me? Yeah. A mistake. 
I went to the wrong guy. It's okay, you've got a lot of nerve coming home. What do you think? You apologize and that's it. Don't you have any brains? Would you forgive someone like that? What's that for? Just for comfort. Have I seen you somewhere? Yes, I'm your nurse. No, before, before the hospital. Your name is Nina, right? Antonina, yes, Tanya. Who hired you, your father? I'm from the foster care service. I wonder if they told him I was here. He's not in a hurry to see me. I'm tired of lying around. Yes, Lita, I'm at the hospital. No, I can't live in Gleb's apartment. Otherwise, I'll have to tell him who I am. And you, as always, in your repertoire, here your relatives showed up. Arkasha asked where you are and what you are. Your ex-mother-in-law was looking for you. She must have missed you. I sent you a picture there. A notice when you need to go to the registry office. You coming? Yes, I'll try to make it. You should try. Make sure Arkasha doesn't do anything wrong. Your mother-in-law doesn't want your divorce. Oh, I've come to my senses. Thank you. Lita, see you later. Hugs. Oh my god, finally broke free. I'll walk you home. You're not strong enough yet. Careful, quietly. Listen, Tanya. Let's go for a walk around the city. I understand that it looks prettier in summer, but... You can't go for long walks yet. Why don't I have you for support? Oh. Oh, careful. I told you, you can't give such a load at once. It's easier to stop a streetcar than you. Oh, that's flattering. By the way, I've never been compared to a streetcar before. So I'll send you back to the hospital. No, I'm not going back to the hospital. I'm just gonna be here with you guys. My place looks suspiciously clean. Who cleaned it up? It's me. Oh. I was sent from the hospital to you with documents. Gialibi, I have to tell you. Tanya, Tanya. Let's do all the important stuff later. Something's been fattening today. Such a head. You should take some medicine. Are you sure? I won't leave you alone. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my god, that's disgusting. Tanya? Thank you for taking care of me, and I wouldn't have made it without you. Glab, I really need to tell you something. It's... Let's use the first name. Come on. I gotta go. Tanya. Please stay. Glab. There. You have some unopened letters. It's important. It's about your father. Tanya, let's talk about the letters later. They told a funny anecdote at the hospital. A passenger is standing on the pier. He says the train is half an hour late. And they say your ticket is valid for three more days. Why isn't that funny? I've seen such jokes in my life. If I hadn't made a mistake with the ticket at the station, 
Maybe we wouldn't have met you at all. That's right. It was you then. What were you hiding? I just got old. I didn't know how to tell you. What a stupid thing to say. I would have said goodbye to my daughter then. I should probably go. Uh-huh. Read the letters. It's important. Will you see Tanya at the registry office? If she comes. If you care about me at all, you'll get Tanya back. I don't know how you'll get Tanya back. You should at least be shy in front of the kid. Why does he keep taking my stuff without asking and ruining it? He's a kid. He needs to develop fine motor skills. You should buy him some toys. He would stop taking your things. Arkasha. Why don't you say anything? Your mother is being humiliated, and you're just going to sit there and keep silent like a wimp. You're unlucky, aren't you? One son is a wimp, the other is a jerk. Daughters-in-law are bitches. Tanakaka was good. Why did she run away from you again? Arkasha, stop that woman. They've already over in the whole house doing what they want. Let them say thank you for taking them in out of mercy. I don't give a damn about your mercy. Do you even know how to give something without reproaching? Actually, we should do a genetic test. Maybe Tema is not your son. You old witch. Arkasha, did you bring me into the house so that your mother would wipe her feet on me? Oh, you, oh, you're an asshole. Witch, oh my god. You're a bitch. You came out of the mud. And Topic went for a walk, alone? Tema, Tema. Oh. I still do not understand what happened. Did you get on the wrong train and go to the wrong place again? Nothing I did not settle. I couldn't tell Glab. About the share in the house. Do you know you can resell it or give it away? We didn't discuss it. Did he hurt you? Worse. Tell me about it. I'm kind of drawn to him. And he almost died. And I? Did you fall in love with him? Stupid. And I knew how he behaved with his father. And... Girl, you don't know how to read men. You're going to divorce one. You've fallen in love with another. I'm worried how he'll react to the fact that his father's dead. I've left letters and telegrams in a prominent place. Don't worry about it. Shall I come with you? No, I can manage. Thank you. Bye. Where are you? I've been at the registry office for a while. How did you disappear? Tema. Tema. God. What kind of people you are even a child will run away, Tema, Tema. What happened? Tema missing. We're looking for him. Are you with us? Don't be silent, please. You let me into the house, and you're sleeping in the middle of nowhere, Vodic. You look at me like an empty place. I don't know what to expect. Either you'll send me away or you'll forgive me. What, Vodic? Let's go look for the boy. Together? Together? Have you forgiven me? 
If I didn't forgive you, I wouldn't let you back in the house. And I sleep at the warehouse. I work more precisely. Tanya left. She left her place. Arkasha, what? Asked our neighbors, Tema didn't visit anyone. Natasha has already called the police. And where is she? She went to the neighbor's house. Drive up, yards, playgrounds looked at? We looked everywhere, no. All right, we need to check one place. I was a janitor when I was working. I saw a boy go into the wardrobe. Where to? You're not my dad. What do you mean you're not yours? What are you talking about? It's grandma's bad joke, and you did well. You hid well. Thank you. Why aren't we celebrating ex-husband and wife? It's so cool celebrate. Arkasha, I wish you happiness. Tema loves you. How are you doing? Best of all, thank you. For what? For 15 years there is for what? For starting a new life. Bye. Tanya, I'm sorry, but I can't live under the same roof with my mother anymore. Natasha won't stay, Tanya. Stop, we have nowhere else to go. There's no money for a rented apartment. You're a grown man. How many times can you solve issues at my expense? Don't you feel sorry for the kid? You'll have to move out as soon as your landlord Gleb Verbitsky returns, right away. You have some time. Wait, here's a letter, it's strange. Dmitry Sargevich didn't finish it, it's for you, I got it by accident. Tanya, I wish you happiness too, you really deserve it. How long can we say goodbye? Let's go inside. It's cold, talk suitcase. Gleb Dmitrievich. I have a very important matter to discuss with you. It concerns your father. Hi. Hello. Why here? You know my address. I didn't think you should come there anymore. Glab. Listen, I'm sorry, please. I acted like a fool. I'm so glad you came. You called and... I'm very attached. Please don't go anywhere. I really need you. Do I still have to figure out what to? Glab. I really have something very important to say. It's about your father. I know. I was just drinking heavily at the time and threw that telegram away. And then I read it all in the letter that my dad had died. I didn't realize it hurt so much. Dmitry Sarjevic was given a proper send-off. Let's go to my place. Katerina and Katusha. My wife decided to name her daughter after herself, that's how it happens. She thought she was in charge of the family. And I'm such a loser. Wrong job, wrong salary. 
she ended up with a rich Canadian. So then, in your delirium, you called your daughter? Yeah, that's the closest I got. I didn't want to let my daughter go. My ex threatened to take away my rights. We drank each other's blood. In the end, we agreed that he will bring her on vacation and one month in the summer. In exchange, I signed over the apartment to her. They're both in Canada now. Wait, then at the train station it was? Yeah. My ex decided to take my daughter away without telling me. I found out by chance my daughter called from the station, and I was at my father's. I guess it's my destiny to be late everywhere and not be on time. And then, of course, I got drunk. It was a story with my father anyway. If it wasn't for you, I'll die too. It's gonna be okay? It's gonna be okay. Good morning. Good morning. Make breakfast. Breakfast is on me. And then I'll give you the best tour of the city. I used to be a tour guide in my youth. And then? And then not interesting? Graduated from university and worked as an engineer for a long time. Married unsuccessfully. One happiness, a daughter Katya, that's all. My husband betrayed me. Fifteen years together, no children. I recently found out that he had a son. Oh, yeah? You know, I keep feeling like I've seen you somewhere years ago. Could we have crossed paths somewhere? I feel the same way. We should be grateful to your father for seeing us again. He was very upset that I was fired. Gleb, Gleb, are you home? Daddy, Daddy. Hi. We came to sell the apartment. Already? Why do I have to answer to you? It's not your apartment anymore. And again, I'm sorry about your father, but at least you have a home now, and you have a place to live. By the way, here's a letter. I found it in your mailbox, addressed to you by a notary. What are you doing behind my back? And I asked you to move that couch. It's cluttering up the space. And one more thing, no extra people, no housekeepers, no maids, no servants. Okay, Gleb, we need to talk. Who are you? I was helping your daddy clean the apartment. Now I'm done with my job and I'm leaving. 
My little mouse, come to me, what are you, what? Dad, get back together with mom. I don't like Uncle Bill at all. What's that supposed to mean? Why did your father bequeath you only one half of the house? And who is Anne Kostenko? The other half is registered to her. Listen, have you been accounted for? You can go. I'll call you. Gleb, please say something. I don't know who A.N. Kostenko is. My father bequeathed it to me. It's a deed of gift. Okay, we have to challenge it in court before this Kostenko A.N. comes into her own. One ticket. Where? Anywhere, just to make the train go faster. There's no such tickets. So hurry up and go anywhere. All right, Vinogretiki, please. Have a nice trip. Thanks. Ouch, okay. Ah, uh, hey. Hey, who are you? Where are you going? To Antonina Kostenko. No, her, she's gone. What are you doing like you're going home? This is my home. Let's get to know each other. Who are you? I'm Tony's ex-husband, Arkady Kostenko, and this is my wife and son. How do you like it here? Do you like it? Are you settling in well? I remember you. You came to see me when my father was still alive. What was he being groomed to share? No, it's his decision. It's between him and Tanya. You have two hours to get out of here. Is that clear? I'm waiting. What's next? Arkash, you get your ass kicked, and you'll take it. Should I fight him? You don't owe me anything. Your woman and your son are out on the street. And you don't give a shit. Mommy, my married life is over. I haven't learned how to be a good judge of character. It's okay, I'll get better. I have Litka as my friend. No, Mom, I had Stapka. In the orphanage. I'll be fine. You'll be fine. Quiet, get up. I'm gonna get scolded again. It's okay, I'll say it's my fault. I made her fall. Aunt Shura won't believe me. She tells me I'm a problem child. That's why no one wants to take me away. Look, they're gonna take us away, you'll see, both of us, I'm not going anywhere without you. Mom, mom, dad. Daddy, save me. Mommy, 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 mommy. So you're just gonna keep quiet. Daddy, mommy, call me back. A lot of smoke, Artem. Artem, Artem. Artem. Artem, where are you? Arkasha, call wherever you call in such cases. Call. Uh, hello. Come back immediately. There's trouble with Gleb. What happened? The house almost burned down. Gleb got smoke poisoning and he has burns.
I don't know how it all happened, Gleb came in, I thought we'd come to an agreement, and he was mad with anger. Can you explain how that happened? He says get out, Natasha started packing and I went about my business, Artem was playing around and started a fire in the office, we come running, there's smoke all over the place. Artem's nowhere to be found, Gleb saved him. How is he? Artem's okay. What about Gleb? At the second hospital. At the hospital. Tanya, you talk to him about not charging me for the damages. I'll do the repairs myself. You came. How do you feel? I'm fine. Why did you leave before? I couldn't stay there. In the same apartment with your ex-wife and kid. Especially since you were having an argument. We talked about the house. Why didn't you say anything then? Sorry, I didn't find the right moment. Is this a good time? In all the time we've been together? Look, you're a good painter. I really believe you. How did you manage to do all this? Good for you. Gleb, please. Yeah, come on. Good for you. Did you find the right time to sleep with me? And then you got the house, and then you got the apartment, and then it just didn't work out. So you ran, right, right. I don't want your apartment. I don't want your father's house either. I've come to tell you that I'm giving up my share. Feel better, Gleb Dmitrievich. Tanya, what? Did he say anything about compensation? No. So you haven't decided how much money to take. How are you gonna split the house? Well, if it's money. And you want to get something from the sale? No, Tanya, that's not what I meant. Natasha and I don't work out. We're too different. Where are they now? They've gone to Zavrozansk. Tanya, maybe we can get back together. No, Arkasha, there is no way you and I are divorced. I have another man. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Leave me alone. Settle any compensation issues with Gleb yourself. I have nothing to do with this house anymore. I don't get it. Didn't he leave with his mother? She's the one who went away and left him behind, said she had no place to take him. And what are we gonna do with him? We'll raise him. Make sure he doesn't burn anything. You're the father. You raise him, get him used to it, and we'll help you. Good thing Enka will be there for us. <coughs> He's coughing badly. Should we call a doctor? Let him take another look to see if he's all right, or did he inhale smoke? I'll take you if I have to, we're strong. We can cope with any attack, yes, Tamayt. Are you sure of your decision, Antonina Nikolaevna? Memam. This is serious, giving up your share in favor of someone else. You realize you're losing your real estate. It's better to be homeless than to be considered a con artist. 
Yeah, it's not often I've seen such nobility in my practice. Still, think again. We're talking about a lot of money here. I don't want other people's money. I want my own house. Sign here. Thank you. Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for a live-in job. I can be a watchman or a saleswoman. A house? Sure. Yes. Yes. I'll do it. So Tanya was afraid to come, so she sent a friend. I came from myself, and Tanya, in between, left because of you and this situation with your house. Yes. And she asked me to give you this. Thanks. I'll check it out later. Why don't we go inside? I want to explain something about Tony. I'm Violeta Sergeyevna. This is Georgi Anatolievich. Maria Vasilievna is our cook. We're hiring you without references, but with a short probationary period. After that, we'll decide if you'll stay here. Oh, and one more thing. We have one day off, Wednesday. Men and companies are not allowed. That's definitely not going to happen. The painting is being restored. I'll return it. I apologize for the damage. Sincerely, Arkady. Oh, 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 come on. If you'll let me, Arkady will finish the renovations here. Why didn't he offer? You're the one who keeps threatening the police. What would you do if your father buckwheat half the house to some unknown person? Your father did it completely sincerely, and his decision came as a complete shock to Tony. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Open the envelope. It's a copy of Tony's deed of gift for the second half of the house in your name. You'll get the original from the notary. Yeah, realized she was getting nowhere, decided to play fair. Are you a fool? Tanya was right to run away from you. And you shouldn't see the bad in people. I'm here for her heart-shaped toy. If you find it, bring it to me at the station. Have a nice day. Tanya. You're gonna wear it out, drop everything, I'll let you try my brine soup. You know, my ex-mother-in-law was always criticizing me. One good man liked the way I cooked. And my brine soup recipe is simple. It's a rich broth, but you have to know when to add the pickles. The pickles are delicious. I used to pickle them myself. It's my signature recipe. I'll tell you about it. Thank you. I could use some more herring now. <laughs> when I was pregnant with my son, I was always craving salty things too. And when I had my daughter, it was the opposite. I craved sweets. I'm not pregnant. That's unfortunately not possible. Really? Well, it's not a long time. 
five weeks, two or three weeks from now. We'll get you in for an ultrasound. We'll listen to the heartbeat. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm so glad. I just can't believe it. We have free classes for pregnant women. You can come with your husband. It's better if you bring your husband. Let him get ready too. We're divorced. Nine months after the divorce, the child is legally recognized as his. If you want to, you can't get out of it. And in the column will be the father. The baby's father is not my ex-husband. Have a nice trip. Lida. Did you find a toy? I didn't. Lita, Tanya's not answering her cell phone. I'm sure you know her new number. No. She hasn't called me. She mailed me once to say she got a new job. She's doing well. Where in what city? She didn't say. Even if she did, she doesn't want to talk to you. Do not interfere with my work. Lita, this is really important. I got a letter from my father. I just read it now. He insinuates that he knew Tanya and that he feels really bad for her. It's very strange. I need to look into it and discuss it with Tanya. Do you have the letter with you? Let me take a picture and send it to her. If she responds, I'll let you know. Okay, thank you. Lita, don't cry. I feel fine. Pregnancy is not a disease. Shouldn't Gleb know he's gonna be a father? No. It's my baby. Are you gonna raise it yourself, like Tanya? I'll be fine. Don't say anything to him, you hear me? About the letter, Dmitri Sargevich wrote to me too. I didn't understand it. It's some mystery from the past, to be honest. I don't want to figure it out. Yes, you should deal with your present. Gleb, Gleb, are you here? Hi, Lita, Gleb's gone. Do you really need it? Very much. Where did he go? On the construction, I think. He was invited, come inside, it's cold. He is a specialist in hydraulics, and we here with Temek repair everything after the fire. Why did you run out? You'll catch cold, quickly home. Tema in the helpers means that his mom does not help? We're doing fine on our own, Lida. How's Tanya? Tanya is fine. When will Gleb be back? I don't know. In about five months, you call him if there's something urgent. It's a not a phone conversation. Goodbye. Bye. Sweet Tanya, I've been thinking about how to explain my decision about you for a long time and my recent one too. I decided to put everything on paper. It's not easy and surprising to realize how the past, seemingly long forgotten, changes your whole life. Gleb, you must understand why I've decided to divide this house between you and this girl to whom I'm guilty, guilty in front of you. Why is he guilty before me? You've knocked your knees out again. It's ours. Your parents came to see you. And how will you show yourself to them? This is our Tana Kaka. And this is Dmitri Sarjevic and Irina. Alexandrovna. Say hello. Hello. Why didn't I remember before? Georgi Anadolivic. Hello. Hello, you don't need a middle name, beautiful. I'm still young. Let me help you. Thank you. 
Is Violeta Sergeyevna with you? No, Violeta Sergeyevna won't be here. Will you feed me? Maria Vasilyevna hasn't arrived yet. That's fine. Make me a coffee. Uh-huh. I'm upstairs. Okay. Antonina, is something wrong? Yes. You know, you meet some very important people in life, and you don't notice it. Yes. Yes, there are different meetings. You know, Antonina. I met you two and immediately realized that we should be together, Tonike. Georgie and Adelievic don't. What's wrong, Tonike? I am that important meeting. Be smart and talk to me, Tonike. Please don't. Tonike, what are you doing? I'm asking you. No, don't. Tonike. Don't. May I? Violetta, she started molesting herself. It's horrible. What feels terrible. I'm sure it is. Five minutes to pack. How did I? Don't ask for a check. And I advise you to go straight to the train station. You won't find any more work in this town. I'll take care of it. Giorgi, wait. Goodbye. Oh, baby. I can't stand up for you. I'm working. I have a family to feed. I would have left a long time ago, but... And where are you going now without money, without support, without protection? And besides, you are pregnant, you poor, poor thing. Don't worry, everything will be fine. I know how to make Resselnik now. You know, my grandmother taught me how. Everything that does not go into your hands is not yours, but what is yours, Tana K. It will always be with you. Yes. And you'll have a home. Home is when you feel good there. When you are happy, when you love, it's when it's in your heart. Do you understand? He has a home now. He's lucky. Thank you very much. This is for you, baby. You don't have to. It's just for the first time. You'll earn money and then you'll give it back. Thank you. Young lady, are you looking for someone? Hello, I'm looking for a nanny. She used to work in Vinoretic in an orphanage. I was told it was disbanded, but some of your employees are working there. Aunt Shora's name. I don't remember her last name. There's a nanny here, only she's long been Shora's aunt. Last name Lapshina. That's her, that's her, Aunt Shora. Outshow. What a big girl. So the family didn't work out. I thought so. When you and Arkady left in a hurry after a month of dating, it took me 15 years to realize it. Aunt Shura, look, this is very important. 
These people wanted to adopt me back when I was seven years old. Why do you want to rig up the past? Now, now, yes, they did. Where did you get this picture? Life ran into Dmitri Sargeyevic quite recently. Do you know why they didn't adopt you? Because they adopted another boy. And Dmitri Sargeyevic was worried that they didn't take me. Did he tell you himself? He wrote a letter. We didn't have time to talk to him. He was gone. Aha. Uh -huh. It's nobody's fault that things didn't work out for you. And he was worried. I can't believe it. Aunt Shura, maybe you remember. There was a boy club in our orphanage. Oh, I'm afraid I won't remember. Why do you need it? It doesn't matter anymore. Can I stay with you? Maybe you have some work for me? <laughs> There's everything for you. Tanya, hi. Look. It's beautiful. How do you live there? It's small, but it's very cozy. I like it. My place is a little bigger, but I'll still be on my own for New Year's Eve. All the men are gone. Or they've left, like your Gleb. He's gone somewhere. Lido, let's not talk about him, in general. I'm not lonely now. Anuta Rock Glass. <laughs> Natasha, are you crazy? What do you mean I'm not coming? The kid's been asking about you a hundred times. Shit, it's New Year's Eve, a holiday. No one needs you except Granny Zena, my little bear. Thank you, Grandma. Why are you hiding? I realized a long time ago that you're pregnant. So now you shouldn't be lifting heavy things. I'll manage, Aunt Shora. Just light work, okay? Okay, then cleaning instead of gymnastics. It's good for me. Please, cleaning, oh. Congratulations. Oh. Congratulations. Happy 8th of March. And we wish you good health. Thank you, children. Thank you, my good ones. Thank you. Tanya, look what I found. It's you. The girl with the always broken knees. And this, do you recognize this? Yeah. That stepdad. I think of him often. I wonder where he is now. 
Why don't you know where he is? If you've been in touch with his father, Dmitry Sarjevic, and his wife adopted Stepka. How? Didn't you know, Tanya? You said yourself that they adopted a boy. Didn't you know it was Stepka? No. And Shura, you're confused. Dmitry Sarjevic's son's name is Gleb. And Stepo was taken by someone else? Maybe I'm really confused. My memory's long gone. It happens. Sometimes they change their name here. They do. So that's where this feeling comes from. Gleb is Stapka. Tanya. Tana K. What's happened, Tana K? They'll take you away, my child. Stop it, stop it. I don't want to anymore. They didn't pick you, so what? How many children were waiting for their parents? Several couples came to our orphanage, but only Stepan was chosen, and some other boy. He's a traitor. He promised me, but he left me. Tana K. Look how we are. I look like a hippopotamus. Human is strong, kicking already. I feel good. It's high time you went home to Kwapalisk. I don't have a home there. Yes. You do? I'll always take you in. If I'm going back, I'm going straight to the hospital on my due date. Talking in the workplace? Just a minute. I'll call you back. How's Tony doing? Are you here for the ticket? For the return train to Zavrzhansk? Children and adults. Haven't seen you around for a while. I came to get my son. Did you miss me? What do you care? Are you sure the kid will want to leave with you? Lida, don't get smart. You and Tonka decided to hide the fact that she's pregnant by Arkasha? It's none of your business. It's only her baby. All right. All right. I'll tell Arkasha myself. He'll be so happy. Hi, nice toy. Hello. My son used to play with one of these. Yeah, you should give this to Tanya. Yeah, she could use it. She's about to have a baby with her ex-husband. You didn't know, I just found out today, too. Is everything okay? Not really. Just a minute, just a minute. Got it. Can you give it to her? Yes, but I don't know when. Is it true she'll be here soon? Although it's none of my business. Okay, you give her my congratulations. And one more thing, we knew each other when we were kids in the orphanage. A boy named Stipa, she'll remember. Finally Gleb remembered everything. Can you catch up? I don't need to, not now. You're annoying, then say something, then say nothing. Sort it out yourselves. Zineda Andreevna, check it out. He was spinning, but I did what I could. Go on. You're my fastest. You've become so handsome. Arkasha, will you open the door? Uh-huh. Who is it? Hello, long time no see. Hi. 
Oh, sweetheart. So go pack your things. We'll leave soon, okay? What do you mean? Why all of a sudden? He's going to live with me now. What is it? It's a human being. It's not a toy. And we won't give him back. On what grounds? He's not yours, not from Arkasha, you suspected. It's not yours. Arkasha, I congratulate you. What are you talking about? We're getting a new baby soon. Tanya is about to give birth. Didn't you know? What kind of family is this, son? Hurry up. Come on, topic. Come on in. Arkasha. About Tanya. Even if it's true, the child is not mine. Tanya told me that she has another man. And Tema. Is Tema ours, yours, to 100%? We have to do a DNA test to put Natasha in her place. Anuta, you collect all of Temka's hair, we'll submit them for examination. Mom, but what will it change? Topic is ours, we're used to it all already, and if this test shows. The test will show that Temka is ours. And you with her try to establish a relationship, a caress, a kind word. Maybe she's pissed off that she hasn't seen anything good from us. We all need to get along with each other somehow. Enough? We've already lost Tanya. Mom, are you being sincere? Yes. For Temka's sake, we have two. Good boy. Well done. Very good. Go, go, study. And Shurud, do you recognize him? Stepka Rastriepka. Oh. I can't get used to the fact that you're Gleb. It was my foster mom's wish. She didn't like Stepka Rastriepka. She decided to name him Gleb. They didn't ask me much. Oh, I remember how they took you away. I cried out. I won't go without Tashka. And she was killing herself. I don't remember it very well. Didn't they want to take the girl? Yes, they wanted the girl. They were all looking at Tanya. She was hard to miss. Do you remember how you two used to sing a song together? I remember. They were looking at each other. And the mom-to-be changed her mind. She took one. She was fighting with her husband. He wanted a girl. Yes. That's it, Stipa. I wrote letters to her later, to Tanya. I wrote for a long time. There was no answer. Then they told me she'd gone to a good family. So I stopped writing. And now you see how it is. Yes, and how fate brought you back together. And Shura, can you take me to her? I've been looking for her for weeks. She's not here. She's gone away. Where? to the maternity hospital, to the maternity ward. Why are you so sad? It's your baby? Yes. Mine. Yes. I used to have a girlfriend in the orphanage. We sang funny songs and dreamed that we would be taken to the same house many years later. I turned from Stepka Rastrepka into Gleb. 
I met a woman, and somehow it all turned out stupidly. I hurt her badly. Please forgive me, Tanya, if you can. I love you very much. I'm going back to the house. The house, that's your house too. I'll be waiting for you there very much. Very much. Well, son, I think we should go. I took the keys from Arkasha. He looked after the house at Gleb's request. It's the same here. Well, it's not, new tenant. Cuckoo. Except gifts. It's found. Of course. Thank you. Hi. Let me help you. Are you happy now? I just have to marry you off, peekaboo. My passenger hasn't bought his lucky ticket yet, which is more than I can say for yours. Hi. Let's go. Let's not bother mom and dad. You're not gonna run away again, are you? Are you sure? Uh-huh. This is our house.